In this equation, we have C4H6O plus O2. So this is a combustion reaction. We end up with carbon dioxide and water. Let's count the atoms up. Let's be a little bit careful here with the oxygen atoms. Four carbons, six hydrogens, and then just one oxygen plus these two. Make sure you count all of those. Product side, we have one carbon, two hydrogens, and then two oxygens. But don't forget the one oxygen here with the water. So we have three of those. Let's start with the carbon. We could just put a four in front of the CO2, one times four. That would balance the carbon atoms. And then we need to update the oxygens. So we have two times four, that's eight, plus the one out here. So now we have nine oxygen atoms. Let's leave the oxygens until last. Let's do the hydrogens, because we could just put a three in front of the H2O. Two times three, that would give us six. Update the oxygens here. Two times four is eight, plus one times three, that equals 11, and this is where it gets kind of difficult. The way to think about this is oxygen's by itself, and we do have an oxygen here as well. So we could think about it as one plus some number would equal 11. So I could put a five here, that would give me one plus two times five is 10. One plus 10, that would equal 11. So one oxygen, two times five is 10, that would equal 11, and that balances the equation. So there's two keys here. One is probably best to leave the oxygens till last. And then think about it sort of like as an equation here where you're trying to figure out what this coefficient in front of the oxygen will be. That's the very last thing you do. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for C4H6O plus O2. Thanks for watching.